Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated what's in my bag video version, what's in my bag video. Um, this is probably my most successful, what, me like doing this forever, it's just, sorry, sorry, take two. This is probably my most successful type of video I do on my channel and I am a beauty lifestyle vlogger um, but I know that with this video there are more people than usual who watch so if you are new here welcome thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already um, and yeah I mean I do one every year uh, I actually feature a different bag every year which is funny I do switch up my bag every now and then but I've had this bag for two years now I don't really remember exactly what I spoke about in my last what's in my bag video so there might be a lot of like similarities obviously because things are pretty standard to keep in your purse but I still think these videos are fun and I personally love watching these videos so if you guys are interested to see what I carry in my bag with me at this very moment don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when I post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it okie dokie so this is a bag that I'm currently carrying right now I do love a good crossbody in fact I feel like most of my what's in my bag videos have been crossbodies except for maybe my Louis Vuitton tote and my Celine. This is one of my favorite crossbodies. It is white, so the strap does get a little bit dirty, but that's totally fine. I mean, what do you expect? This is from Off White, which rest in peace, Virgil Abloh. I am a big fan of Off White. I love that this brand kind of like meshes like streetwear with high fashion. I just think it's so cool and this bag is very well made very functional i got mine off farfetch which actually is where i like to buy we're not buy. i don't have like a whole bunch of stuff but i like to peruse that site a lot as opposed to maybe like nordstrom's or bloomies or like a normal department store site this is the camera bag i love it so much they also have a black version they have a few different varieties but i personally like the white um it has like this canvas strap which says off white on it i will stand it up and model it for you And if I stand back here, you know, you can wear it like this as well. I just love a crossbody because it's so easy. Um, so yeah, and I love that the strap is very durable. It's thick. It's not going to like fall off your shoulder, um, which sounds weird, but a lot of like thinner strap crossbodies, I feel do that. Anywho, so that's what it says off white, as you can see right here. I have a like key ring kind of zipper here. Oh, and by the way, you have the front pocket here. I personally, for some reason, carry a pretty heavy crossbody, which that's what a lot of people would say. Like when they feel my bag, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. And I think it's because my keys weigh like 85 pounds. I need to kind of maybe downsize on some of the stuff that I have on my key ring. But anywho, you have an inside pocket and then you have a nice interior slit pocket right here that says off-white, made in Italy, main label. Uh, they always have their like labels, like product descriptors and like all caps and like quotations. That's their thing, which I think is super cool. So let's pop into this first pocket right here. What immediately comes out is my vaccination card. Um, obviously it's that it's just the times guys. Uh, granted I've had this for over a year now and I'm still surprised she is intact. Uh, I also have a copy of it on my phone, but um, yeah, this has been through the ringer, obviously giving it to those who ask for it when I go out here, there and everywhere. So that is first up. Also in this front pocket, you can never have too many hair ties. I have a hair tie probably in every single pocket of every single thing with a pocket that I own. So, um, you know, always expect to find a rogue hair tie around me or my home or my car or wherever I am. So having a rogue hair tie in here, like I said, I have the travel size version of YSL Libre right here. I have the full size version. I'll spin it around so you can see. I have my full size version. Oh, my full size version right here. This is a great fragrance. Honestly, I'm gonna spray some on me right now. It just smells so sophisticated and warm, but crisp at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's very sensual, very like grown up. You can wear this to the office. It's like a grown working woman. Like that is what this fragrance reminds me of. It's like sexy and mature enough to take you like from day to night, like from the office to like date night, in my opinion. So, so amazing. And I actually got this in a set with the full size version in the Sephora BAB sale last fall. They had like a bunch of curated fragrance gift sets. I think I got the 1.6 or 1.7 um, fluid ounce version. I usually like buying my perfumes in a one to 1.7 ounce because I don't go through like a full three or four ounce perfume. So I bought that in the gift set with this and I thought it was perfect because I could just take this with me. So next up, opening this bad boy over here and I love that the zipper is so smooth. I have never, ever, ever had an issue with the zipper getting stuck. 
which I very much appreciate. So yeah, so here we go inside. First things first, this has been my new go-to wallet. Uh, I don't know why, actually I do know why. It's because like I obviously carry a crossbody and you will see my keys take up like 85% of the room that's in this crossbody or any smaller bag, I should say. So I really need like a smaller wallet. This is actually from Juicy Couture. It's like a nice little like wallet card holder thing. I actually really love the charms. I think it's so cute and like giving very Y2K, um, but it's very functional too. So, and also I don't really carry cash. So I don't really see the need for a full blown wallet, which by the way, I'm selling a bigger Marc Jacobs wallet, which is really, really nice. I got it at Barney's, it's a zip around wallet on my Poshmark. So link in the description if you wanna check on my Poshmark or any other fun things that I might have there. But that's a really good wallet. I just carry a smaller purse on a daily basis, so I don't need like a bigger, you know, zip wallet. Anywho, this is what it looks like. It's just a cute little like card holder. I have like my uh, insurance cards. I have a few random coins for parking meters, you know, my ID, credit cards, debit card, you know, all that good stuff that you would find in a wallet. And no dollar bills because like I said, I am not a cash carrying person. So this works perfectly fine for me. Okay, next up we have this hand cream. I love a good hand cream, especially because my hands, you know, with always washing them and sanitizing them, they do get pretty dry. Well, actually even before then I just had dry hands. It's weird, my face is oily, but my hands get super dry, my feet get super dry. Um, this I actually picked up at Target. This is the Love Beauty and Planet Shea Butter and Sandalwood. Uh, if you guys know me, you know that I love seasonal scents. But this is one that I feel like could work all year round. I actually did buy this in the winter time, but I still use this now. Um, but it smells so good. Not too much of anything, a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet. I love a good like basic plain, like shea butter, almond oil, coconut, that kind of fragrance. Um, and I love that this is so small that you can carry it in your bag. And this actually does leave your hands super duper hydrated. It's not very heavy. It doesn't leave a thick residue. So that's why I love carrying this around with me. Speaking of hand products, actually maybe what I should have spoken about is uh, what I would put on before I would go in with this. I always carry around a little pocket back from Bath & Body Works just because they're so convenient to carry in a purse. This is the Fresh Getaway version, which I think is a new scent. I actually spoke about it in my spring Bath & Body Works haul, so I will link that above and below for your viewing pleasure. It retails for $1.95 individually. I did buy this in store and I love the scent my friend chloe loves the scent too it just smells so fresh very unisex i don't feel like if you're someone who likes like very masculine scents like you would hate this it's not very like feminine it's not, it's not much of anything it's just very fresh which is personally something that i love in like a hand sanitizing fragrance yeah it's not much to say i love the formula the fragrance will linger on your hands i always say that about bath and body works products like I feel like, yes, their products are slightly more expensive, but you can always get them on sale, number one. And number two, the fragrance actually does last. Like it's not something that you put on and it dissipates in two seconds. Like this will stay on your skin for a really, really long time. And I personally love that, you might not, but I really do. And once it dissolves on your skin, you don't feel it like sticking on your skin anyway. It as much as a newborn baby. These are my car keys. Uh, what is new is I have a nice little uh, lanyard on them right now, which I think this might be what I need to kind of downsize, but it's so convenient because if my keys are in my bag and I just need to pull them out in a GIF, this is extremely handy. However, uh, like I said, I have like five keychains on here. So, um, but I look at this and I'm like, what can I downsize? I don't really know. I think my car key in and of itself is very heavy, but you know, I have like my house keys. I have like a mail key. I have a bottle opener. I have a flashlight. You never know when you're gonna need that. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't know what is extraneous. I mean, I could take off maybe these cards, but again, if I'm going to Ralph's, this is so easy to scan. But anywho, these are my keys, my car keys and my house keys, just my life keys in general. Very also basic and simple to have in your bag. Okay, next up we have here, uh, something that's kind of interesting. This is actually from my cousin and it's not always in this bag obviously, but you can not expect to find a snack or two at any given point in this bag. This just happens to be the one that I have um, right now, and to be honest, I've never tried it, but um, she gave it to me. This is the Keto Baker Keto Layered Brownie Chocolate Peanut Butter. I am not keto. I'm always down to try like a health, like conscious health variety, health niche type of food. And my cousin is very much about that. So she gave this to me and I have it for a rainy day because I do get hungry often. Okay, next up we have a little travel size tampon. Shout out to my friend Connie who saved me um tmi but mother nature snuck up on me we were in hawaii about to fly back to la and i literally uh had my visitor 
come and visit me um, right before we were about to go on the plane. I'm not even kidding. Like I was in the bathroom, like doing my final pee uh, and she arrived. So, you know, I have to like welcome her with open arms. Maybe not, but like I have to like deal with it. Right. So luckily she came to the rescue and gave me like these really compact tampons, which I also love. Like there's this brand from Target that I use that has compact tampons. I know Kotex makes compact tampons. Um, so yeah, I gotta have one of these at all times because you just never know. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Okie dokie, a few more things. Uh, breath spray. This is super duper handy. Listerine pocket mist. My dad gets these in a variety pack from Costco, um, but I love the Spearman version and my dad is a dentist. So if he's giving me something, I can pretty much trust that it's gonna be okay. So all you do is like this. You can see I'm running out. I need to get a new one actually, Dad. Uh, I also have a rogue hairbrush in here. Um, the mirror is like broken off. I don't know where it went, um, but that's okay because we don't really need it. This is just like a pop-up hairbrush giving very 90s, giving very much elementary school, giving very much on the go. Um, but you can get these literally at the dollar store. In fact, I think that's where I got this one from, but they also have it, I think, probably at like the travel section in Target, you know, wherever you go that has like similar travel on the go products. But yeah, this is a hairbrush and I like this one particularly because it just pops in and out and it's very convenient. My last two products in my bag are actually both from Merit Beauty. Um, I did a whole video on Merit Beauty and I've literally thrown these into my purse. Um, this is the Shade Slick Lip Oil in the shade Taupe. This has been my go-to on the go lip product because I need a lip product at any given point in my bag actually not even on my bag like wherever i am i need a lip balm like it's hair ties and lip balm like you can always expect to find those two things in as many random rogue spots around me as possible so this lip oil is absolutely beautiful i will actually swatch it for you on my hand right now it's not sticky it gives you the beautiful most perfect amount of color i absolutely love this and you can just throw it on without a mirror which i love about this product and as well as this lipstick this is in the shade slip this is my new everything it is such a nice nudie brown i will swatch it again for you right here and again this is one of those products because it is a more emollient not super thick matte formula i can just put it on my lips without any mirror and i love carrying with me a product that has a little bit of color whether it's a tinted lip balm a lipstick or a lip oil because if i'm wearing makeup and i'm going out and obviously my lipstick my initial lipstick wears off i don't want to just apply it with regular chapstick because number one it'll like take off like the, the remnants of the lip color underneath and then make it look all funky and chapped and you get the residue on your like clear lip balm which is never cute but also because i don't want to look washed out while i'm out if i'm wearing makeup right so i like applying a little bit of something on my lips to give me a little bit of life and i absolutely love these products they're so amazing very very comfortable i actually have an affiliate link for merit beauty products if you guys want to shop merit beauty Feel free to use the link in my description. I would actually very much appreciate that. It'll just take you to the Merit Beauty site. And obviously they sell Merit at Sephora as well. But um, yeah, I do have an affiliate link for Merit products as well. They are great. All right, everybody. And that was it for my What's In My Bag updated 2022 version. This is also what the bag looks like. It's giving very like kind of industrial, kind of um, street chic, but I really do enjoy this bag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't know, maybe what you have in your bag if you like any of the stuff i have in my bag what you would add what you would take out maybe i don't know just let me know your thoughts below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hopefully i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye